This week we are going to show you how to make sliders, which are little mini hamburgers, which my family loves. And a caterer shared the secret to making these nice flat burgers. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Three pounds of ground meat, which sounds like a ton. So this will definitely feed a crowd or if you have teenage boys, this is perfect for them if they have their friends over. It's a great snack or supper. So I'm adding two tablespoons of Montreal steak seasoning or anything that you use to season your burgers will be fine. And you can mix this up, um, get it all in the meat, all the seasoning. I'm going to use my hands, it's a little easier to use your hands. Just mix the seasoning in there. And now the trick is to lay out the burger meat right in a rimmed cookie sheet, which I have right here. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to put it right in here and then flatten it in the pan. Lay it out in the pan and I'm just going to score them into 24 pieces. And I kind of eyeball it so I start in the center and do it right down the center and then do it into thirds from there. And they should be each about two inches by two inches. And they're going to shrink up a little bit when they cook. Okay, and then I do it this way. Cut it in half and then cut each side in half. And you don't have to go all the way through, just make the line. So when they cook, when they come out of the oven, you will cut them into their individual little burgers. Okay, now I'm going to cook them for 10 minutes at 350 degrees. Okay, now while the burgers are cooking, I'm just going to prepare the rolls. And I have 24 uh, potato rolls here. And I'm just going to slice them right through with one cut. Like that. And then I'm just going to break them all apart and get them ready. The last night of cooking, I took uh, the sliders out of the oven and drained the fat. And I also put a square of cheddar cheese on them. And now they're ready, just these squares, just to serve them up. We usually put one dill pickle chip and um, mustard and ketchup on each. You can also saute onions or do them however you want. It's a great way to make a lot of food. And if you want to reheat these, you, um, the caterer suggested that we just put them in tin foil, um, you know, put about 12 of them in tin foil and put them in the oven for another minute or two, and then the, the buns will get nice and toasty. So I hope you enjoyed this cooking tip um, that the caterer shared with us and we're sharing with you.